Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Traders Frontiers. Pick up right where I left off is where we got one more journey here. You see this spot here for the Bryken Helix? The place that I've been talking about going to for a little while because I actually have missions that are on the verge of expiring. Well, not really on the verge. I got like a year. Um, yeah, we're going to do that today. So we're not necessarily going to worry about this, but that clock is ticking as well. And the other thing I got to watch out for is that my doing all these reputation missions has been really nice. Uh, on a personal level but has made some other factions kind of uh, mad at me um, yeah no Sparta I do recognize your name because I have watched kind of looked up red on this game before and I did play it a little bit uh, in early access as well and I think I remember you from there as well so I, pre I appreciate the uh, input thoughts and everything else here I mean it's obviously with games like this one of the big to do's is just diving being willing to dive into it and learn it but i think maybe the most important thing for me right now is that these people don't hate me so i'd love to do some good trading here and actually use some of my abilities to get some content but unfortunately i think the missions that i have uh are at least gonna piss them off a little bit so whoops Let's start with this. We'll try We'll try and do this one last because it's going to give us a bit of a rep bump. Now, the good news is that I can pretty safely patrol out of one of Reputation Whoopsie. So that should be fine. Yeah, I do have Merchant Talents. The, uh, specific, the specific Merchant Talents that I have, at least on my captain here, uh, Market Confidant and Wise Counsel. So... For those of you watching at home, that's at least when I make a big trade every nine weeks can get a contact. Wise Counsel is just because I had no one else to uh, stop that there. And there's some other good merchant things. Merchant's a class that I can level up some more. I honestly need to take a look into there. So let's land here. This is, they call this the Pitiful Beach. It actually looks pretty nice. And as our cargo... Sh uh, crew exits the hidden stash we can feel the crosshairs on our back look we got ambushed again so look we just get to get to laugh at asher now um i did say before i had a combat medic not a really good combat medic so that's going to be a little bit of a problem and we still need somebody for slot two were you uh shooting mcshooty with the shotgun i think you were yeah, this is, this is really exciting where I'm just like, what the hell am I doing here? Well, we'll find out. And this is nice now because now I have people watching that know what they're doing and I'm just sitting here about to get destroyed. But that's part of what ha that's part of the excitement here of crew combat and everything is that I suck at it. All right, so who do we got? We've got uh, people with not a ton of health. These are all fairly neutral. Uh, how you deal with this is getting better gear. Yeah, I do have the uh, level three weapons locker. So that's something that I can upgrade a little bit more. And already we have uh, some fun here with getting knocked back. I can debuff you. So that's good. All right, so. Yeah, we need, unfortunately, we need to move you front face here. Yeah, suppressing fire, that sounds like a really good idea. So, suture. And that was not where I wanted you to be at all. Wow, okay. Um, this is what I get for not paying attention. So I'm just like, la la, who got moved around? And this is how I die. Fortunately, they're missing us like crazy. So this is like a free turn, but... Um, we're just gonna refocus. We're just gonna have to move the doctor back next turn, which is a problem. Once again, they're they're just outright missing. So that's pretty good. Is this the doctor? Is my doctor about to get killed again? That would be lovely. All right. So debuff. What's really good about suppressing fire is when we miss. So let's see. Gotta move our doctor back one more. Can we? 
Cannot move there. Well, that's cute. Yeah, I guess in that case, we're just gonna, gonna do this. See, that's one of the problems is that I see the I see all the good information you're giving me, but one of my issues is just that I'm sitting here like, well, moving him out of the attack range. What in the world does that mean? So we got a dead swordsman, lovely. And we have someone who missed with their shotgun again, lovely. Can just try some of this on for size, I guess. Okay. And that's absolutely not what I wanted. Okay, so we're all about to die. See, this is, once again, this is great. You're saying things that are obviously words that make some sense is now... See, this is this is one of the issues here. I get put in a bad position and I just have no idea what to do. Like you say, penalty rounds you down to eight always initiative. I don't know what that means. Alright. Eh, we killed somebody. Like this is this is literally the one part of the game where I am just like oh, of course you miss. Yeah, it's well, you know the good the good news though, Beric, is that I have a doctor still. Um, this is probably gonna result in a critical mission failure, which is very exciting. Oh, our doctor's dead. And our sniper's up in front, so see the numbers below the character and initiative value that's my problem is that i know what that means but we i'm just gonna have to watch this again and kind of go step by step okay we have lost a deadly crew combat i didn't even see how many people actually died because i forgot to check that so i think we're missing three crew uh we lost a doctor again we didn't even get paid for that drop off that we did. So that's all uh, that's all very exciting. But obviously I have a lot of things to learn. No medical services for one crew. That's that's exciting. We can recruit two people here. So who do we need on our ship? We have gunnery. We we're missing an officer. Um, we have way too much navigation skill. Because there is such a thing as too much. Um, so my hopes and dreams of making some solid trades here are a little bit dashed. Let's look back and see what we got out here. Because right now we are on an uh, industrial planet. If we go to a refinery planet, uh, nobody ever dies except the medical staff. That's true. Yeah, like like I said, Sparta, I, I appreciate what you're saying. I'm going to, I'm going to hopefully buck learned this real well and i'm very glad that it's showing up on the left side of chat for other people to see um so my best laid plans right now are not going so swell let's see what we can do we need to get to some medical services we need to make a little bit more money though we can't actually buy any of this stuff yet um technically this sells at refinery Technically, biomass goes to refinery. Are we really shipping poop across uh, the stars again? I think we are. Let's do it. Three units. They only had three poops. Just the three. Well, the good news is that I'm doing everything wrong. So, wow, this is this is all really dangerous exploration. It's it's a lot of excitement here. So, there's one crew that's healed. We need two crew and one officer. Um Yeah. That's fine. Um Yeah, I'm going to kind of hold off on who I pick up here in just a minute. 
other than probably just another soldier at this point. Because unfortunately, my person who was doing pretty good with guns is now pretty dead. So I have to figure that one out in just a minute. So jobs here. Let's train that spy action a little more. We have another scavenger level. You're level five. And you're a soldier. Let's see, who, who do we have that knows this? Okay, so you're up here. That's one of the problems that I could have swapped her back in. She is actually Kind of, so burst fire, covering fire. So we need we need you to be short range. We need you to be shotty girl. That's fine. Oh, we can promote to an officer from there. Um, okay. The more you the more you know. See, I thought there was. It makes no sense. It's like you only have to recruit officers, so I can't actually promote, then I may need to just do that from within and see if I can get a damn doctor. Um, so what are we going to do here then? We're going to do Roaring Barrels for you. Call of Day. So, who wants to be the doctor this time and probably die? Um, it's a solid question. I mean, technically... The number one skill that a doctor needs is fortitude because they need more help. Um, that's something like I kind of want to look up now, but I don't really. I'm not really going to have an opportunity to. So, sure, you seem like a doctor. You don't have high fortitude, decent wisdom, some negotiate skills, some strength, sure. And I'm sure when Sparta comes back, you'll be like, you did what with who? All right, so combat medic and doctor, and then more doctor, and more doctor, and more doctor. There we go. And more combat medic. Look at that. All right. Maybe, maybe you'll be the one that survives. First aid is a good talent. Level five, we do actually have uh, the lifesaver talents. Um, during blockade, spy, patrol, salvage, black market, crew members restored to that plus doctor skill. That's probably good. And um, oh, I can't, I can't train that one yet. I was about to say that one probably looks pretty good, and you don't even know. I'm just staring at the screen like, her, uh, which one? And this is the kind of thing I usually like to do off camera. Like I could do poison grenade, but that seems a little, uh, a little less worth my time. Um, there's a bunch of navigation talents that would be pretty decent, but we're going to um, save those for another time. That's that's fascinating. Medical ward, defeating a ship, we don't worry about that. When the crew are paid, you consult with close observation crews to help grant 30% block your skill chance to learn a hidden trait among those paid. We need, we need more uh, skill saves like that. Okay, congratulations. We have a doctor who maybe will not die. Um, officer, engineer. We're going to wait on that. I want to look up and see. It's going to be better to do assassin or bounty hunter for her. So let's see here. Um, master smuggler, explorer, engineer, explorer. Yeah. I think we're okay. So we can sell this. This is all legal, apparently. And, um,
I think we all need to drink at this point, so we do have some industrial places on the way. This is fine. Except our cargo is full, so. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we're going to make people a little bit mad over here. I want to try and make some larger monetary trades just to go ahead and increase my stuff here. We do have a pretty decent danger rating, which is a little annoying. So crew is waiting to be paid. We still need two crew. I'll have to, I will have to think about that for just a little bit because um, I don't know. Like these, these would sell okay. Um, we can't buy or sell these electric components. All right, do we have a population planet that we can drop this off on? So refinery, wilderness, farming. We do have a farming world up there. So this is just literally space farmers. That's not very exciting. I had higher expectations for this area. All right, so farmers don't know it's not bacon. We'll save that for later. Let's go ahead and turn in this other quest just to make people mad. Because this way we can always, first off, we'll just get ambushed again, because that's cool. Um, I feel really dumb for not realizing that you can promote from within. So we have, oh, okay. This is what I like. This, we're gonna do some exploration here in just a minute. First thing we need to do is recover the data cube. Oh Lord, we don't need to recover the data cube right now. Uh, I don't need pirates in my life right now. At least I can get rid of the Xenos. I just, I just don't, I'm just not feeling the pirate fight. I have one year and 14 weeks to get my wits back about me. Um, what we can do, though, is land here. Look at this beautiful place. It's very safe, very rich, ultra-rich exploration. <laughs> very sorry about that. It doesn't mean it's free of risks. It just means that we have the potential to get a lot of goodies here. Unfortunately, we're going to... oh. We got some resources. We got some elect 41 electronic components. But see, now it's like it's low risk, but there still is risk. So we can just remove a risk card. We have learned the difference between remove and, uh, well, I, I knew the difference already, but you can see that there's a difference between re-rolling versus just straight up removing, and it's scavengers. Well, time to lose another doctor, isn't it? All right, so if Sparta comes back, Sparta will be back just in time to shout at me about crew combat again. Um, you prefer slot one, but we're not gonna put you in slot one. Who do we have for slot two? Um, Shoddy McShotterson, the shotgun specialist. Uh, slot three is gonna be uh, our newly appointed combat medic doctor person. And slot four is really gonna be anybody at this point, because um, we have our, our best combat person from before got killed. Where doctors go to die. Yes, do not do not work for me. We will we will be dead. All right, so we're just gonna do a level six exoscout. I thought. Uh, yeah, this is annoying. I right, so one of the crew I need to hire is somebody who can actually shoot here a little bit. So why do you prefer slot three? I guess it's because of an ability you have. Too bad I can't check that now. Or maybe I can. Um, all right, let's fight. So we got all these swordsmen. We have none of these abilities here. Um, but these are just scavengers. They're not supposed to be dangerous. So see, yeah, like this is our initiative. It does things. I don't know what. Um, covering fire is okay. We don't have suppressive fire. We can't use covering fire in the back row, so that's part of our problem. Um, burst fire, 
does use double the initiative, so we only get to shoot it once. Which means I might have been able to get out of uh, our fight before. So let's drop you back to slot four. You're just going to be spam healing at this point. Alright, so Roaring Barrels. Okay. Removes all buffs or just fire? Well, we'll just, we'll just miss. There's nothing wrong with just missing. Alright. And heal him up. Our navigator that magically studied medicine. Yeah, you could not kill my level 2 person. That would be lovely. I said not kill my level 2 person. Well. Um, guys. We're, we're back to this problem. I just keep having crew members get destroyed here. So burst fire, covering fire, retreats one slot. So that's that's a good combo. Let's see if we can get a stun here. There we go. Maybe we'll have a doctor live. Am I speaking too soon? Heal him up. And we don't want to debuff you, we just want to kill you. I mean, you're stunned, so we don't really have to do a whole lot here. You're apparently stunned too, so... This might work just by accident. Oh look, I'm dying. So they're literally stunned for three turns. Well, that is overpowered. Alright. Let's kill you. Oh, it's a 25% chance to feel stunned. I feel pretty stunned today. So see, that's my question. Has she been using the pistol the whole time? Or, um... So now we're at some penalty. Sparta tried to explain to me very nicely what that meant before. I will have to figure this out. So... And one day I'm going to be good at this game. But for now, I'll just take the victory. Maybe we lost a crew member, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Combat log crew report. Was defeated but survived. Good. That's what I should have checked before, but I was too busy getting killed. Alright, so... Oh god, why has it got to be more combat risks? Alright, well, the nice the nice thing about um, exploration, the number one rule for exploration, in fact, is that you can always walk away. So population or farming? We got a farming place up here. So let's sell some stuff. Got an orbital station too. Fascinating. Alright. Like, I don't want to turn in this other quest and make these people hate me. What did I say we wanted to get? We wanted to get possibly a gunner. Like, what I'd love to get is a sol is another soldier, I guess. So we get one more of those. And we'll try if we can get somebody to uh, be a fourth row specialist here. So basic medicines. We're just barely getting under the, like, amount that we need for um, stuff here. So... Let's go ahead and uh, how much do we need for this mission? Because I don't want to have any more than that. Um, how many, how many, how many? Um, survey until we find the crash site. Oh, then what do we need the other stuff for? Did I just buy too many things? I might have just bought too many things. That'd be hilarious. That'd be a, that'd be a very Asher move. Which means, unfortunately, can we combine these things in our cargo, please? No, we can't because one's from a neutral faction and one's not. That's annoying. Okay. Um, so, so all these things just under the threshold. Um, like, we're, we're so close to getting so many things here that we're just not. All right, let's dock. Can sell here. What can we buy from you? Not a lot. Some clothing, some other stuff. So you're, you're kind of poor. But we're just gonna go back. We're gonna do a little bit more exploration. We have a little treasure chest there, which means we have a stash. Not a mustache, just a regular stash of things. 
So let's land. And we can empty this stash anytime or it will sit there and nobody will steal it. So let's go ahead and remove a risk card. This is why we want all these things here. So we did good. We got uh, some good resources. We got Polymer Ignots and we got a Persistent Search Talent that increased the reward here. That takes five days. Okay, so we have components, components, recruit damage. I'm not really concerned about any of those. The Terox uh, artifacts are probably the most important thing of any of this. So of course that's what disappears first, but Intel records are good. We do have that one agent that we can sell to. So back to scavenger combat. We're gonna re-roll out of the pirates. Wow, we actually dodged both scavenger combat cards. Um, deposit raw spice. So some of these things are things that we can sell at our other place here. I really don't feel like, um, we have a lot of reroll cards. So, okay, new contact. We've learned a new contact, a clan Zanarian officer living. Okay, so we actually got a contact here. That's excellent. Um, let's see if we can get another one. Okay, it's not re-rolling to Xenos, that would be hilarious. Wow, two contacts. Two contacts in this area, so we can do definitely some missions here before too long. Yeah, this is this is the nice thing. It's just a nice little, let's flip the cards and play, except it's not like Hearthstone where I just kind of suck. So we got more Strontium, which is always very exciting. Uh, two potential contacts here. Uh, oh, good. We got three contacts here now. This is the, you know what? I have never actually gotten a contact before. I'm not gonna re-roll any of those. I've never actually gotten a contact before in uh, exploration on any of the offline stuff of this that I've done until now, and now I've gotten three. So that's really, that's really exciting for me. Small victories. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the high crew damage. Ship fuel and ship repair. That's nice. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be reading all these lore things? Now, one of the sad parts here is that this is time ticking away that I have due for other missions. So, more hydrocarbon and fuel. Well, we had some of that before. And for the time being, we've scouted the surface and can find nothing more. Which is what this little flag means. We can do 10 explorations per year. So, look at all of our stash. We have a bunch of illegal stuff that we are free to sell in the other areas here. Um, so polymer, polymer's going to do good in industrial, and I think we got some, uh, good places to potentially sell that. Um, electronics components, we'll come back here before we go to the other place because we've got some uh, stuff here, but yeah, that's, that's the exploration mini game, and we do have a little industrial place that we can park over here. We also have a faction that absolutely hates us. Didn't we get two contacts here? Yes, we did. There's one. Are they both on this planet? Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, cool. Just one contact. I swear I got more than one. Well, I'll have to review the footage on that. But still, I will tell you, one contact here is all you really need to get started to maybe building rep with another faction. So we'll go, you know, I think a good way to close this out is to go visit our new contact buddy over here and probably not get hit by a smuggler. Uh, they're preparing to depart. So are we, and we get no rep loss, thank goodness. If we had gotten into a fight, we absolutely would have. So we got some leveling up to do. We failed an electronic test, which is okay. You'll be okay, guys. Um, no med facilities, so that's a problem. Still need one crew. That's fine. So I, I hate jumping out of here. She knows better. So that's a refinery planet. And what can you sell that refineries like? Uh, not a lot. Literally 22 biomass. It's not even, not even worth pushing the button. Now this farming place down here, or this farming place could have what we're looking for. So we'll try that real quick. 
And I am watching the clock. I'm going to have to call this in. But I do appreciate you guys popping in here just a little bit. Oh, no. Landing interrupted by pirates. Are you serious? Take my stupid money, please. Let's try this again. Landing not interrupted. Still no medical facilities. So... Ionized atmosphere rattled crew and battered ship. So we have some pissed off crew right now. Um, so we're going to a refinery place. Well, I'm glad you like it. Like I said, it's it's a game I, I really enjoyed playing before. I just stopped doing YouTube. And I was like, I'm going to come back to this when it's released. So that's, a, that's exactly it. So we got grain. We got plants. Let's bring the food. It's not like high, high, high anything, but it's something. So one more trip. Once again, we haven't done a lot to increase our reputation. Oh, man. High danger, high richness, high explorations. And I say life among the stars, dot, dot, dot. I love how passive aggressive that is. It could be something that's really good or really bad. Oh, it's Michael Gunn or Goon or something. So that's... Uh, uh, royalty contact is pretty nice. Once again, we're just barely getting under um, what we need to sell to make things uh, actually really profitable for us, which is a little bit annoying. Um, we can totally drop this off at an industrial place, though, so that's great. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and load up on this, because this will get me another contact. Um, let's see what else we can do. Carbonite. That's also industrial. Let's see what we got from the prince here. Can the prince buy us? Uh, can we buy a trade permit? Not yet. We need to do some stuff for the prince. Um, you don't want to buy intelligence records. That's fine. Um, unknown trait, or we can help as merchant buddy. Let's see here. Transport a prisoner, or pending one-way shipper here. And this doesn't piss off another faction that I really care about very much. We will patrol Artok, waiting and watching for to catch Snowbird in the act. And once Snowbird's in rage, we'll likely only get one good pass at making a kill. Well, shit. The reason I say that is because I... Apparently, you really want me to just um, shoot things out of the sky, which I can do. I just don't know if I feel like I should do it. All right. Well, we know we know he's here, and these are going to expire eventually. So that's that's good to know. I wanted I do want to get the trade stuff here going, but we're we're just going to see if we can maybe get another contact. I know I'm going a little bit over time that I said because I've got things I got to do, and we got another merchant that's coming after us here. What? Oh, okay. Uh, I was about to say, the merchant better not be like saying, we will take no quarter. So, apparently royalty just wants us to make other people have a bad time. That's that's another part of the feature of this game. So, our crew wants to be paid. Oh, wow. You don't want this. Well, okay, this has a chance of getting me a contact. And we didn't get it. Um, that's annoying. But, that's okay. Well, let's see. We're just going to go ahead and call this here because I do I do actually have to go. But thanks for sticking around. I'm glad I was able to sneak some of this in today, and I will be doing this again in the future. Thank you, uh, Barrick, for watching here for a while. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you, Sparta, for dropping by and schooling me on this. I think I will literally just call this video Asher Gets Schooled. Also, don't be a doctor. Uh, yeah, so what have we learned today? We've learned that... Um, there's a lot that I have to learn about this game. We're already pretty well situated for exploration because we found one like unicorn planet with tiny danger and major richness. So yeah, we got a lot of good stuff to look forward to and we have so much more of the universe yet to piss off. I mean, explore, I mean, not die in. But thanks for watching is, man, you know what? Maybe some of these contacts that we got actually ended up popping up down here because we definitely didn't have some of these before it just said they were all in the break and helix when they weren't because yeah we definitely did not have three contacts down here but still cool good times were had by some of us unless you're a medical officer which in that case i'm sorry but we'll do this again soon so thanks for watching take care